Hello friends, you're highly welcome to Bless Biafra Network. Here in this network, we talk about Biafrans, Nigerians, and the world at large. In essence, how Biafrans have been suffering so much in the hand of the Nigerian Janjawi government, trying to get their well-deserved nation called Biafra which existed so many years ago before the British came and destroyed it all. And here in this channel we also talk about Nigerian government who has been busy killing innocent Biafrans openly and secretly for no reason only because they said they want their own country in a peaceful agitation in a peaceful manner and they have done so but Nigerian government has continuously killing them and the British government are there watching as if nothing is happening. So this is what we can talk about in this channel and this is what we want to talk about. Now the news in detail. The headline says Biafra, if they believe in the constitution of Nigeria, they would not have introduced Sharia law between Nigeria where the constitution exists. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Nandekalo, Toze Berete, those asking Ipob to go through appropriate channel to secure Biafra, accusing them of being hypocrites. Mazikal also alleged that the 12 northern states allegedly practicing Sharia law has systematically and unlawfully removed themselves from Nigeria and its constitution without the Nigerian government questioning their action. Adding that Biafra agitation for self-determination should equally not be questioned by Nigerian government and its people. The IPOB leader in the last edition of 2019 Radio Biafra broadcast a New Year message alleged that British government is greatest enemy of Nigeria as a country and Nigeria people, accusing them of supporting manner, all manner of evil in favor of the people he described as Almajiri Fulani, they are allegedly easily manipulated. The Apple leader also alleged that all the action and the project of the All Progressive Congress APC government in Nigeria are geared towards promotion of Islam, making all the Nigerian states embrace Sharia law and empowering the Fulani ethnic group in Nigeria with strong and committed British government support. According to Maze Kahlo, when the Jihadists in Abuja wanted Sharia law, they did not go to a National Assembly or call for a referendum to vote to get it. Rather, the 12 Sharia states went aside the constitution of Nigeria and agree and introduce Sharia law, but today, they are asking us why we are agitating for Biafra and telling us to go through the appropriate channel when they did not go through the appropriate channel to get Sharia they are practicing today. Who is in Nigeria today voted for Sharia law to be practiced in Nigeria? Northern state today. Is Sharia in Nigeria constitution? He asked. They willingly subverted the constitution of Nigeria and imposed Sharia on the northern Nigerians. If they believe in constitution of Nigeria, they would not have introduced Sharia law within Nigeria where the constitution exists. So when they tell us not to agitate for Biafra, what is their moral right and justification for telling us that? 
Biafran should ask them how they got Sharia being practiced in Nigeria, Northern State, anytime they kick against Biafra agitation. We should, uh, we should ask them which channel did they use to introduce and get Sharia law being practiced in the 12th Northern State. You cannot tell us that one law operates for people in the North while another operates for the people in the South on that one country that you said operates a constitution. Carlo, who accused the British government as the worst enemy of Nigeria as a country and its people said British government and some of its national sees evil in Nigeria happening see Satan and Lucifer and also rock and keep quiet because it is in the interest of their nuclearism in the interest of their nuclearism out of empowering the Alamajiri they manipulate the great enemy of Nigeria is British government and some if it is national they are the ones perpetrating support and financing terrorism with the people occupying a rock and deceiving Nigerians that they mean well for them the people believe that also regretted the treatment being meted against the people of Satan Kaduna who are mostly Christians by the Nasra Erefaya government and blame them their woe for wrongly believing that they are hated by Biafrans who he said are rather their savior. The dichotomy, dichotomy that exists in Kaduna State between Muslim and Christians has never existed in any part of the country. Erufaya said his state is divided between Muslim and Christian and if it was Apob that said it, they would say we are talking crisis. I've come to the end of this news. I say thank you so much and may God bless you all for listening. Please, if you have anything to say, drop your comments in the comment section and the, all your questions will be answered. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Si tout le monde en offrait plus pour Noël. Plus que quelques jours pour profiter de l'incroyable Noël des bouquets Canal Plus et du décodeur HD à 5000 francs au lieu de 10 000. Profitez des meilleurs programmes pour toute la famille pour passer les plus belles fêtes de fin d'année. La fête commence. Faire le plein d'amitié. On va avoir besoin de tous les copains. De douceur. Moi je pense, je vis cuisine. De magie. Vous allez illuminer le ciel. D'émotion. Et ce n'est pas fini. Ah oui. En janvier, vos super-héros débarquent sur vos écrans. Super. Ça a l'air chouette. Alors, n'attendez plus pour vous abonner. C'est beau ce que tu dis.